The University of Makeni Unimark has organized its seventh convocation ceremony at the Fatima College Quadrangle, and 240 students graduated from various disciplines. In attendance were government officials, academics from respective universities, diplomats, political leaders, and a mammoth of exuberant well wishes. Let us watch the proceedings. The person of Jesus Christ. Jesus tells us to promote the dignity of the human person, to build human society, to search for the common good, to promote justice, to respect nature and the environment. But that is why we have chosen as a motto for our university. We present to you, Mr. Chancellor, a number of 240 graduates who will be receiving the bachelor's degree in the various faculties, the Faculty of Commerce and Management, Faculty of Social Sciences, Agriculture and Shift, to address our country's human capital development of healthcare improvement through disease identification, surveillance, prevention and control, with the support and collaboration of our partners. Today, we will recognize and award certificates of excellence to our staff of the PREDICT program and those who have worked in the research laboratory of our university for their role last year in the discovery of the Bombali strain of Ebola virus and most recently, the Marburg virus we first find in West Africa. By the way, let me inform this house that the lead Sierra Leonean scientist has been our Minister of Higher and Technical Education, our guest speaker, Professor Ia Fatima. This year we have launched the Center for Political Formation, which is up and running, charged with the training of counselors, administrators, and development coordinators in our district council training in local governance, decentralization, environmental management continues to be critical for our public sphere. Our politicians and our local chiefs must act urgently to stop the uncontroll uncontrollable deforestation taking place in the country, and especially in the northern region. Let me use this platform to appeal to our government, and in particular to our chiefs in the north, to end the rapid deforestation going on for expediency. Our special needs and inclu inclusive education program is improving the skills and knowledge of teachers and lecturers around inclusion and special needs education in the country. We make a special option to work for those who are vulnerable in our society. We are building partnerships with other institutions and universities around providing training and community engagement for the whole spectrum of disabilities. Our mental health program is also improving the training of mental health nurses and community practitioners around mental health needs in the country. There is every need in our country to build our economy through entrepreneurship. Our impact entrepreneurship programs are training entrepreneurs to initiate startups and support scaling up. The SPHERE program, the Strategic Partnership for Higher Education, Reform and Innovation, a project sponsored by DIFI, is equipping our graduates with the technical and soft skills employers are looking for. The SPHERE project is also providing the opportunities for us to review our curricula and teaching methods to ensure greater relevance for graduate employability. Our quality assurance office is taking the lead in ensuring that we embed quality all across our programs and departments for effective and efficient quality service delivery. Our community engagement as part of our social responsibility has ranged from urban planning and neighborhood renewal in the Bombali district, providing health services civic and cancer screening, ear screening, and outreach education programs for the training of our teachers in our secondary schools in the northern region. And with our development students, students constructing a community social center as part of their civic engagement. Through our law clinic and access to justice law center, we continue to provide legal services for the poor and the vulnerable in our communities. 
the university is building stronger partnership and network with universities and other institutions. We recently signed an MOU with Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi, the University of Palermo, Ubuntu Africa Foundation, Spain, Viva Africa Foundation, Spain, East Anglia, and with the University of Cambridge. Let me thank the Project and International Relations Office for shoring up our commitment with partners and other universities and institutions. Mr. Chancellor, sir, we are still a young university with many challenges. Some of them reflecting the challenges of being in a country that is trying to consolidate its democracy. Therefore, we we'll continue to promote staff development to build capacity for our university. The changes from childhood to adolescence could also be challenging and exciting, a stressing period, and therefore we prepare ourselves for the changes we experience in our community, our country, and our world. The Quality Assurance Office will spare ahead the next strategic plan for the next 10 years. Strategic Plan 10 to 20. The strategic plan will be fully aligned with the SDG goals, with the African Union Agenda 2063, and with our country's medium plan for national development 2019-2023 education for development that is being finalized. Our development plan is prioritizing in alignment with the National Development Plan, Human Capital Development, targeting free quality and basic secondary education, and strengthening tertiary and higher education. Our priority areas for Research in the coming years will be around improving productivity and commercialization of the agricultural sector, specifically improving waste production for chicken feed, animal health science for poultry and ruminant, research around poverty reduction, climate change, infectious disease, social cohesion, governance, and decentralization. More importantly, the university will accelerate its commitment to promoting national and social cohesion and unity in our country. Last year, as part of our civic engagement, we have provided a platform for all political parties to present their manifestos to our students and staff in order for them to critically analyze and engage in the election as responsible citizens. Pope Francis, our Pope, has asked Catholic universities to train leaders for a new kind of politics that will promote the common good. Catholic universities are non-partisan and must be ready to collaborate with the, with the efforts of government, but must not be afraid to speak truth to power. In the words of Pope John Paul II, I quote, if need be, a Catholic university must have the courage to speak uncomfortable truths which do not please public opinion, but which are necessary to safeguard the authentic good of our society. In our midst today, we have invited all political leaders from all parties as a sign of our commitment to promote social cohesion and unity. Let us use this platform. Let me use this platform as a university to appeal to all politicians, political parties, men and women of goodwill, to work for the common good of our country, to promote social cohesion and unity, to build a politics where the elites can have a consensus on the rules of the game. Let me use this opportunity to thank sincerely our staff, the deans, directors, administrative and support staff, heads of department, for the sacrifices you make in building this civilization of love. Finally, my dear graduates, you have been part of this rich history of our university. We have been fortunate to have you with us all these years, sharing our lives. Congratulations for your good work. Continue to be a difference in our country, in our communities, in our world, with the unique experience you have had at Unima. Continue to build the civilization of love wherever you go. We wish you well in your future endeavors. May God bless you all.